I'm Evernote Certified Expert Stacey Harmon, and welcome to Episode 9 of Evernote in the Wild, Provence Edition. In this series, I'm showing you how I use Evernote to support me in my trip to Provence, France. And today, I'm focusing on how I tame paper when I travel and come home paperless. So the truth is, we all come across a lot of paper when we travel. And often it's important information that we need to reference during our trip. So for example, you get your hotel room key and you have a paper slip that tells you what room number you're in, or you've checked luggage and they give you the tracking barcode and ticket number for your luggage, which you might need at baggage claim. Um, and sometimes we come across paper that has value to us after the trip. So that might be receipts that you're using for budgeting, or expense reconciliation, maybe even deductions or um, a tax rebate uh, or flyers and information you pick up when you visit you know, historical sites, museums, in my case, the wine country, maybe restaurants, menus that you wanna remember a special meal of. So all of these things add up and often it's much more paper than we think. I'm actually usually surprised by the amount of paper I collect when I'm traveling. But regardless of what function it serves, I have a key habit that I take with me on my trips. I do this all the time, but it's really important when I travel. I have a habit of digitizing that paper and centralizing it in Evernote, and I do it multiple times during the trip. Now, I either use Evernote's built-in camera, they have a camera right in the mobile app, or Scannable. In my case, I'm on iOS, and this is a app that Evernote owns and develops, and it obviously integrates wonderfully with Evernote. So I use that to quickly digitize everything so I'm not bringing any paper home with me. And I really do have a paperless travel habit as a result. So as I mentioned, I do this regularly, maybe at the airport when I've had a meal or a drink and I wanna digitize that receipt, in the car here when I'm traveling back to the hotel, after a wine region outing or on the train that I'm taking back to Paris after the uh, trip in Provence. The point is I'm digitizing and centralizing it in Evernote. And as a result, I have access to all of that information whenever I may need it. And that's a variety of use cases. So Evernote's tools obviously make it super easy to do so. As you can see in this demo, where I'm literally digitizing the receipts from the Provence portion of the trip on the train, I'm using Scannable, and then I'm just tossing the paper Paper. And again, the built-in Evernote camera works just as well. Um, so you can use that feature on both Android and iOS to accomplish the same thing. So this paperless practice serves me in a lot of ways. Obviously I can find the things that I need when I need it. Often for me on travel, this is receipts after the fact. Uh, I'm not losing important paperwork. I mentally know where it is. I know it's in Evernote somewhere, even if I can't find it, which you know I have a process for organizing the stuff once it's in Evernote, but Evernote search is so powerful that I can always retrieve the information even if I my brain doesn't remember exactly where I filed it in Evernote. Uh, I also have no paper clutter around me. I'm not accumulating paper while I'm traveling. I'm able to toss it uh, and never bring it home. And it really does on occasion provide me um, some comfort and lack of stress. Like for example, I digitized the luggage tag and that created the ability to actually have that piece of information when I needed it because my luggage was lost on the way home. So I had to work with, you know, the luggage um, uh, customer service people. They needed that piece of information. It had, it, the tag got stuffed in my boyfriend's back pocket. You never know where it is and you're tired after a long day of travel. So just having that digitized created a lot less stress during a stressful time. So it's again, I knew where it was. It was in Evernote. I had access to the information I needed when I needed it. I have a lot of blog resources on this topic of digitizing, centralizing, and searching. You can find links to those in the comments below if you wanna go deeper with this. Uh, also, the skills and habits are a big part of my personal paperless lifestyle and something I go much deeper into inside the Academy where my members have access to my 30-day practically paperless challenge. You can join me there to build the skills and habits required to go paperless in your own life beyond this travel use case. But regardless, I hope you found this episode's given you some ideas about how you can capture the paper you collect while traveling to Evernote and hopefully inspired you to come home paperless on your next trip. 
I'll be back with more tips next time. Be sure to subscribe to the Harman Enterprises YouTube channel in order to be automatically notified of the next episode. I'll see you then.